Hey, thanks for checking in on Bath Top, sir, and welcome back to Observer. Now, don't ask me to tell you where we are because I wouldn't be able to answer you. I have no idea. We knocked on the door, or rather, we walked into the apartment of the owner of the tattoo parlor, a dude by the name of Jack something, and basically, without even seeing a dead body, we don't know if the room was empty or not, but we, like, we were chucked straight into a crazy, almost dreamy sequence. And now we're here. Um, I mean, I'm a little bit apprehensive of how sort of grey and swampy it is. I suppose the, the glow in the dark birds are a nice touch. They seem fairly friendly, but this tree. Oh, okay. Alright, well that turned horrible. <laughs> That's kind of cool. No! Wolfman! Wolfman! Not a fan of Wolfman. It's that face that gets me. What the hell is this? Yeah, another crazy start to this one then. <laughs> I wonder how many times I've said, oh, this game is absolutely crazy. And another dead body. Okay, so I think we're in the tattoo pilot owner's room now. And yeah. Wow, and he's like plugged into him. So it was a Dream Eater sequence. Give me the duration of the last sequence. We're connected for 16 minutes and 43 seconds real time. 16 minutes? Am I losing? I think you might be. Oh, that painting's very familiar Already as well. Scanned. Focus down. Try to remember. So the last thing we remember is walking into this dude's room. Warning. Abnormal genetic structure detected. This blood doesn't match the victims. Calibrated trace. Now. Who's could it be? This, have we got a lead? Trace established. Bingo. Right, back in control, finally. So yeah, that painting, we saw that in our dream sequence just then. And it gave me the creeps then. It's definitely giving me the willies now. First of all, we need to stabilise ourselves. Um, so, take a pill. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Right, I need, we need to get an idea of what the hell's happened. Oh, we're in the... So we were in this room, but in a different setting. I think we came down that corridor there, and we were just thrown into absolute sort of mayhem. Um, but now, it seems we can finally investigate what the hell's gone on. So this is our tattoo pilot owner, a dude by the name of Jack, I think. Yeah, there we go, Jack Carnas, or Canass. Um, so let's bioscan him, perhaps. Let's bioscan everything. Okay, wait. <laughs> we can't do the blood. Fine. Can we do anything here? How about this stuff? Error. It's not letting us. This is weird. Everything's already been scanned, I think. He's got eyes? <laughs> well, I know he's got eyes. Oh, okay. I thought we had eyes in like the middle of his chest, but obviously his head's slumped because he's um, pretty much dead. He has got this prosthetic leg. And what is this, a cane? Oh, we can finally interact with this. A snake-headed cane. Probably the victims. That's pretty cool. I'm guessing he needed that because he had one sort of fake leg. I wonder if it can, like, unlock something. Right, and there's nothing else we can do with the blood here. Which is a bit of a shame. And there's blood here. Alright, fine. I think we've done enough with the body. Let's explore the rest of this dude's house. I'm sure he won't mind. So we don't even know if he was up to no like what he was up to. We know he had the, the, the chop shop in the back of his tattoo parlour. So it could give someone a motive to kill him. Maybe he botched a job or something like that and I was out for revenge. I'm not sure how it connects with the other two murders, but there could just be me missing something here. A tablet. It's already been scanned as well. Okay, this is his personal computer. So um let's invade his privacy. Do you have privacy when you're dead? I'm not sure how that works. So regarding reinstatement, Jack, I've always considered you a good friend and mentor. While your teaching methods were sometimes harsh, they also helped me improve as a surgeon. Let me therefore extend the same courtesy to you and be brutally frank. There is no way in hell your license could be reinstated. The accusations laid upon you by the council are simply too grave. I used all of my influence to try and get a motion across, but they will simply not budge. Even after all this time, you are still perceived as a parrier, and the patient's family aren't making things easier. Good God, Jack. 
What were you thinking? To install an untested prototype in a Class A patient, and for what? Even if it would have worked, you would still most likely be facing accusations of, mal of more practice. Whatever your motives were, I'm afraid you need to accept the consequences. Sincerely, Herbert. Right, and now we know Class A citizens, well that's like upper class in this world, isn't it? So he was performing illegal operations on someone of, I don't know, of like a, a very high position in society. Right, okay, and you deserve all you get. And I'm guessing it went wrong. What he get for this? So he lost his uh, medical license and what became a tattoo artist? Strange. Anyway, you deserve all you get. I don't know if this message reaches you, but I hope to Christ it does. It took me a while to get hold of your current address. We have never actually met, but your actions have forever changed my life. More precisely, they have turned it into a waking nightmare. Thus, I want to take this opportunity to show my appreciation. It's been close to two years since the only woman I've ever loved had the uh, unen unenviable distinction of being placed under your care. And although she has not and will not recover, her current doctor, an actual doctor mind you, finally managed to stabilise her enough to make her semi-comfortable. Towards that end, he has also installed a permanent feeding tube where her throat once was. She used to have the most beautiful voice, not that you care. I have come to know that sociopaths are not moved by the plight of others, even if it's one of their own making. I was never one to harbour ill will or wish poorly upon others, but when I look at a hollow deformed husk that was once my wife, I am moved to thoughts and emotions I never thought possible. I have attached a photo to this message. I want you to take a long, hard look and know what you, and know that you did this. I want it to haunt you for the rest of your days. I want it to remind you that you're nothing but a butcher, a quack, a callous, empty has-been. I don't know what hellhole you, ha <laughs> I don't know what hellhole you scurried off into, but I hope you die there. And when you do, I hope you rot in hell. Well, the husband of the wife definitely got his wishes. Jack is, um, I can confirm, he's dead. And this is the wife. She does not look good, does she? I mean, I don't know what is wrong with the side of her face, but I mean, this is all because of a, of a like a back alley surgery. Terrible, really. It's shown again. Hey, I'm pretty sure it's showing from under the skin. The thing itches like hell and gets all messy when I touch it. You have to do something. I can't show up to work like this. Contact me as soon as you get this message. Helena Novak. Ah, oh, yes, and we know she got the date of storage implanted. Um, when we'd done her Dream Eater sequence and it was in the back of the tattoo parlour so we'd done an operation on her and we read if it itches and stuff like that it could be signs that they're infected with the nanophage, right? So, has the nanophage broken out in this apartment? Is that why we're going a bit loopy? Complications I'm getting worried about the courier. She doesn't seem to be taking the pressure well. She's irrational, prone to bouts of hysterics. I can be certain of the infallible nature of my software as well as your hardware, but the human element as always, proves to be the weakest link I wonder what would be more risky, to engage yet another third party, or proceed as we are now. A. For Adam. P.S. Thank you for your painting. I'll put it up right away. I think I have just the spot for it. So that's Adam. So Adam and Jack were working together. So it's all leading to our son will be dead pretty soon here. Someone's um, discovered whatever our son and these people were up to, and they're killing them off one by one. Um, the only worrying thing is, whatever seems to be killing them doesn't seem to be exactly human. Uh, we can search car, and we'll get to that in a minute. No documents, no programs. We'll turn it off. Okay. We can't do anything with the search car on. Interesting computer, though. Very interesting. Let's go around to the other side of his bed. I like that rug. I imagine that's quite comfy. Credit chips, and what's Credit this one? Chips. Just like the one in Helen's apartment. Except these aren't empty. Right, so there's money on this thing. We can't take it, though. Makes sense. I mean, we're a policeman. We can't just go stealing money from deceased people. We were having a lot of fun with this radio in our dream sequence. Can we do anything with it now? Oh, no, okay. We'll turn it off. Not that I'm particularly opposed to that sort of music. It just doesn't seem like it fits the mood particularly well right now. Blood on here. Alright, we'll keep going. Over to the kitchen area. Jack definitely has the nicest apartment for what we've seen so far. Got to remember to do our bio scans as well. I think the drawers will be a bust. Although, what is that? That's that orb. No, I think it's just the light. Okay, I think it's just the light to light up the drawers, perhaps. I don't know. I mean, it wouldn't let us search these drawers if there was nothing in it, would there? Okay, I should really check my objectives as well. What's this? Harsh pills. Not really trendy out here. Controlled substance 53B. That's an illegal stimulant. 
Okay, well, we've already picked it up, so we can't scan it. Put it back. Um, what else? What else? The fridge? Nope, nothing there. Okay, let's check what our objectives are asking us to do right now. The dream eater is starting to get to me. How do I not remember plugging it in? Anyway, now that I'm back in the real world, I better check the apartment for clues. The killer was wounded in a struggle. He's leaving a trail. If I follow it, I might be able to finally get the bastard. Right. So we're not finding much in the way of clues here, I don't think. But I mean, I could be, I could search a lot more. What have we got? Ignored. Ah. Yeah, why am I ignoring that? It looks like it could be something of value. And what's this? Is he talking about Adam? I have decided to aid this young man with his scientific endeavors. I believe he is onto something truly spectacular. Yeah, I reckon he is. Okay, a shame we can't play any other tapes. Open this drawer up. Nothing in there. Uh, do you reckon there's another message or it's just the same? It's worth checking. No, it's the same. Right, okay, well, I truly don't think there's anything here. Although, I suppose there must be, if we haven't actually done the objective yet. Although, I can't find it. Um, actually, what's this? Surgeon's license revoked. But that didn't stop him, did it? Not at all. I mean, I don't mean to judge anyone based on their appearance, but I've never seen a surgeon like that. <laughs> he looks like he's trouble. Alright, I think we can start to move out. Can't do anything with his music system. Okay, so the blood's just gonna be lit up blue for us, I reckon. Anything hiding in his jackets? Ah, oh, there's more around here. Right, we'll take that. Oh, there's loads of it in here. collected. Bloody hell, he was hoarding the stuff. A vinyl player? That's gotta be very old timey for this game, surely. Mm, it's not playing anything. I wonder if there's any vinyls I could put on to make it work. Let's have a quick look, because there was some stuff around here. They're all just CDs though, aren't they? No vinyls. Alright, fine. It was just a hunch. Let's move on. Try and track down our killer. Okay, this could be a little bit creepy now. The blood has gone through here, if you ask me. Where has it gone? Oh, has the view gone funny? Yeah, it definitely has. Alright, I think we're going to be in for a bit of a wild ride here. Don't be a wolf man, please. This has gone freaky. This has gone very freaky. God damn it, Daniel. Get a hold of yourself, man. Give me a damn heart attack. Oh, I hate this field of view. Oh, <laughs> it's really horrible. Okay, so we definitely came through here, didn't we? So we found the rose. Oh, fuck that. I'm not looking behind. Shit. I think we've definitely been stalked. Nope, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> oh, we're kind of okay. I'm, I'm generally not okay, I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty scared right now. Where's the blood? We've got to follow the damn blood. Okay, let's just take this back to Helena Novak's apartment. Shit, okay, this is the, the blind dude. Fuck. Alright, we can get through there now. We have definitely got to get jump scared here, aren't we? It's far too dark. Oh, we're back in the chop shop. This is no good. Stay calm. What's the worst that could happen here? We're locked in safe. 
The Wolfman couldn't get in here last time. God, is my own shadow scaring the shit out of me. Should I maybe sit in the chair? Oh crap, a door. Bloody hell. Down into the basement, why not? I mean, what makes a scary situation even scarier than going to the deep depth bowels of some horrible apartments? Oh, for fuck's sake, he's growling. Wait, are we the wolf man? Look at our shadow. Look at our hands. They look like claws. We can't be the wolf man, surely not. I kind of wish we were, because then I wouldn't be scared of myself. Fuck this. I don't like it. Okay, but he went left. We know he went left. Yeesh. Nope, I think he maybe went right. Follow the light. Things are floating in the air again. Oh, this is making no sense. Are we walking on the wall? Did we hit our head? Daniel, come on, get up, buddy. Make it out of this. Oh, no, I think that's blood. I think this whole corridor is filled with blood and guts. You just know there's going to be one door we open and the wolf sack's going to be on the other side. This is not good. Oh, that is horrible. That poor hand. Poor arm. These noises are just disgusting. This reminds me a little bit of um, Evil Within. Oh, why are we trying to scan? Matriarch, report DR318 activity within the last 15 minutes. No activity detected. I don't get it. I'm not even plugged in. Am I fucking losing it? Well, yeah, I'd say so. Look, can you not see the intestines hanging from the ceiling? Is this a normal occurrence for you, Daniel? Have you seen this in your field of work before? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'm getting a little bit nervous. 1984, that seems to be a recurring theme. Are we being watched? Is that what that's trying to tell us? Shit. Oh, man. So look at all these weird paintings. Depicting sort of like replicants or androids through the ages. Very interesting. It'd almost be, I'd like almost take the time to stop and watch if we weren't in such a frightening predicament. Right, make sure we're not meant to be scanning anything. I don't think so. Uh, Wolfman? No. What the hell? Oh, things. <laughs> yeah. You took the words out of my mouth. Things aren't good. So from, what, the first floor upwards? The um, whole building is covered in, like, giblets. Horrible giblets. Okay, this is fine. Left or right? Um, door covered in blood? Door not covered in blood. Door covered in blood? Why not? It. Oh, cool. We found Kroll. Michael Kroll. How you doing, buddy? Okay, let's carry on. Well, now we have Michael with us. Maybe he won't be so scary. Ah, oh, back to normal. Hell yes. What room's this? Zero, zero, zero. So it's not a real room at all, is it? Maybe we're not back to normal. God damn it. What I'd give to be back to normal. A ladder. Okay. Easy. Um, let's hack this. Please let it be hackable. Connection established. Come on. Give me the money. Two. Zero. Question mark. Question mark. Searching for patterns. Hmm. So that's that's a bit too many for us to um to guess, isn't it? Unless it's the year. I don't think it's 2058. Right, there must be a clue around here somewhere. Oh, this is a totally changed our surroundings. Okay, maybe we're not meant to go through there. Still, be on the lookout for 20 something something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Right, are we outside the apartment blocks now? I want to go out here. Oh man, look how awesome it looks in like from a design point of view. I don't want to take myself out at the moment here, but it's just so cool looking. Right, where's this? Is it a bar? 24 hour bar? Now we're talking. Lads, how you doing? I'll just stay out of that one. 
down the stairs or through here? Hmm, perhaps not through here. Maybe there is a hidden collectible. I don't think so. All right, we'll go down the stairs. I'm feeling confident now, actually. The the fear has subsided for a, for a moment. <laughs> it was a bit rocky there, a bit touch and go, but now I think we're good. Uh, I think it's more of like um, an erotic dancing establishment, which provide drinks. So where's the bar? There's a huge, huge person. Wearing like rubber rings? Okay, fine, whatever. We'll hit this big red button. What is that looking out onto? Ugh. This is going to be rank. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Shit. 69. Oh, 2069. I mean, it's a little on the nose, but still. At least we've got the code now. <laughs> How rude. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm assuming that's what we have to do. I can hear some, some weird noises. Everyone's gone. These doors are still shut. Yep. Yeah. Them people aren't there anymore. I mean, were they ever really there? Who knows? I'd love to know if you put in 69 anyway, if it would have worked. 2069. Thank you. Right, are we back in normality? Seem to be in like an even more unkept place of the apartment block here. Like, look, this place is trashed. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What the hell was that? You heard that, right? The, the door slamming? There's no bright colours anymore. Maybe this coffee machine can help us? Okay, I don't think that's a coffee machine. Shit. If this is the Wolfman's den, he's gonna get us. He's gonna get us real bad. Blood. Oh, bollocks. More blood. I think we may have found his lair. Is there anything we should be scanning? Easy. Oh, there's something around there. More blood leading through. God, I'd hate to think how much the rent is on this place. You can bet your bottom dollar it's extortionate. Okay. Let's get through. More floating shit is going to hear us if we come through there. I don't want to do it. It's going to hear us, like, clatter our way through. Can we be sneaky? <laughs> no, okay, we're not being sneaky. God damn it. Hear us then. That's what you want, isn't it? Um, hello? Hey, PD. I need to ask you some questions. Someone lives here? voice down. He'll hear you. Is that door expanding? Is the door breathing? I'm telling you, that door's breathing. Who will? The one of many shapes. We don't speak his name. Uh, the one of many shapes. Symbols. The symbols must be to ward him off. So who's the one of many shapes? Does he live around here? Below. He lurks below. Only comes out to hunt. I'll oh, talk about bad neighbours. How do I find him? You don't. He finds you. He always gets his prey. Yeah. What are you talking about? No, I've already said too much. Help me help you. Yeah, please. We just want to catch the wolf man. Lock him away. I won't let him hurt you. If you work with me. We can't make any guarantees, I though. I can't. I'm sorry. He'll know. How? He's coming! He's coming! Oh, bollocks. Fuck that. Shit. He is coming! Wolfie! Calm down! Is that game over? I think it is. Oh, maybe not. I mean, there was... Oh, it is. There was no way we could have escaped there. Shit. Okay. I tried to think on my feet there, but I don't know how well it went. <laughs> hey buddy. Well, this is we're in a bit of a horrible predicament here. Oh the door's open. Run! Run! I wish we figured that out 
first time. Would have been better for a dramatic effect. Hey, foggy. In forest. What the hell? How have we ended up in a bloody foggy forest? I mean, I'm partial to a foggy forest given the right setting, but when you're on the run from a bloodthirsty beast, a foggy forest is the worst place you want to end up. Um, but perhaps, maybe, we should end this episode there, because I don't want to get too far ahead. I imagine there's going to be quite the chase here. So, if you enjoyed this episode of Observer, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we will try and find a way out of this damn forest, hopefully back to um, the dingy apartments. Go ahead and subscribe, and I'll bring that to you. If you've got any comments you want to raise, if you've got a clue what's going on, please enlighten me if you do. Leave a comment below, and I'll make sure I'll get back to you. Alright, see you.